Hi. So I'm going to tell a story about a very miser landlord. And this landlord uh, used to be the owner of almost all the lands around this village. And he was a very cunning and miser and a, a very rude, uh, you know, uh, rough person. And he almost whole village was his slave kind of. And this man used to make them work without paying anything for them. So he had a very strange policy. And this policy was such that he would hire, like call them and would hire them. And the promise was they will get food the size of a leaf, each of them. And they had to perform all the duties through the day, around the farms, at home, everything. And he wouldn't be, like leave anyone if they couldn't perform the duty. And there was a punishment for them that they were not allowed to sleep during the day. And they were given just one meal a day. And that too, just a small leaf, a leaf full of food. Now, most of the times, all of them were given small neem or, you know, the small leaves, very small leaves, curry leaves. And, and they were supposed to have just that one leaf full of food every day. And the condition was that he said, none of them can leave the job. If they say we are done, he would behead them. So that was the thing. And if he found them not working, still he would behead them. So either ways, they were forced to accept death off and on. And that was his condition. And the whole village was very, very afraid and upset with him that he was not letting them live. So most of the parents would quietly pass their children on to their relatives outside the village or somewhere where the men could be safe and they were not living in the village because if they were in the village, he would spot them and he would just pull them around to work for him free. And it went on and on and on. And like this, a lot of men lost their lives. Once there was this very simple, sweet guy who happened to have come from some other village and he did not belong there. But as this landlord was in a very dire need for a person to take care of his son, who was a small boy, he hired this man. And this condition remained the same, that you have to, you will get just one leaf full of rice. It went on. After a few days, this man was not able to survive. He was hungry. He was not letting, being sleeping and doing things. So he finally decided, either way, I have to die. So let me just tell him I can't do it anymore and die. And that happened. But just soon after this boy died, there was another boy who came. And this time, something different happened. This boy, when he was offered the condition, he said, okay, but I too have a condition. So the landlord said, what is your condition? He said, I will bring the leaf. You will not give me the leaf. The landlord accepted. And every day, he started bringing a banana leaf. So he was living well, but one thing was happening parallelly. As soon as this new boy came, though he was eating on a banana leaf, something else was happening. The landlord's son stopped eating. And he started becoming sick and pale day after day. Everyone was curious and no one was able to find out because there was a condition and the landlord cannot throw away the boy because if the boy complained, the landlord was supposed to do the same as he used to do. 
for the others we had so this time the landlord no matter what he asked his son can you please tell me what's going on and the son said father i can't tell you this is a secret he said no you have to tell me he said what's happening why are you falling sick he said do you know father you are this new person you've appointed he has put a condition on me and he takes care of it very persistently and strictly and the condition is he has not allowed me to be if i am shitting and he wouldn't let me shit if i pee and the digestive system was all in trouble because the boy was either allowed to pass urine or allowed to pass to not together and that way he was not able to be healthy and fit and not eating and now the landlord had to finally come to this man and say i'm very sorry but i can't let you continue to work with us and the man said okay i will be here to you and the landlord said no 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 please forgive me why are you doing this to me he said you've been doing this to so many men all this while and the last person he was such a sweet boy was my brother 